What up, nerds? Jasmine and Brandon here with comic news and reviews. First bit of comic news, Brian Michael Bendis' Powers is being made into a TV show on FX. Really awesome. And they just cast Charles S. Dutton as one of the lead characters. So you should be excited. I've never read the book, but I know and he is a solid writer. So I will definitely check out the show. I have not been this excited about a comic turning into a movie in so long. And we all know here that I love radical books, but I especially love their book called Last Days of American Crime. It's by far my favorite out of anything they've ever done. Uh, it's becoming a movie, obviously. Awesome. <laughs> you were so excited right now. No. Uh, director F. Gary Gray, who did like the Italian job, the remake, is uh, doing it. And it's gonna star Sam Worthington as the lead character. So that's pretty cool. I think he can do it, and this is a At great you know story. It's gonna be action filled. So. Oh, totally. The things yeah, that go on in that book are ridiculous. The story's basically about like after the second biggest like terrorism strike on the US, the government implements this like mind control where at a specific time in like five days, no one will ever have the ability to have the impulse to commit a crime ever again. So it's like the final days of obviously the last days of American crime where uh, like three people do this huge heist and it is, oh. It sounds cool. Sounds like a good it story. It is awesome. So. Can't wait to see it. All right, one more bit of comic news. Uh, Barry Sonnenfeld, who directed Men in Black, and Grant Morrison, oddly enough, are teaming up to do a graphic novel and movie combo called Dominion, Dinosaurs vs. Aliens. I am so excited for this. It's Awful. Grant Morrison. He's gonna convolute dinosaurs. Anything he writes it's that- It's convoluted. It, but the crazier it sounds, the better it is. We three. I had no interest in reading that, and it's one of the coolest books I've ever read. True. So he just can't write Batman. As I, oh, he's incredible. Oh, oh. Graham Morrison's incredible with whatever he writes. So I cannot wait to see this. Like it's gonna be awesome. It's so random. I I know, but that's why I think it's gonna be good. And but it's like, gonna be convoluted. I just want to know like what the how the angle's gonna be between like the dinosaur because I, I doubt the dinosaurs are gonna be talking. I'm just really, waiting, like, do I don't do know. Think? Just be like, do you guys see that? Is that a noise? I'm gonna run over this. This is how Tyrannosaurus Rex walks, everyone, by the way. It goes like this. And then it sees an alien, and it's like, oh crap, what is this? I don't even know what metal is, because I'm a dinosaur. Grant Morrison is already convoluting you. I'm, I'm so excited for this movie. I cannot wait. It's Grant Morrison doing something strange, and he always delivers on strange shit. Very excited. No. Dinosaur walk. Hi everybody, this is Cubby here with my review for the week. I reviewed Flash number 12 by Jeff Johns. Holy crap, such a good book. Great way to finish up this road into, or road to Flashpoint little mini series that they're doing. Uh, tied it up greatly. I read Flashpoint before, which I don't recommend because it kind of didn't make sense. But read Flash 12 first, blows you away. Scott Collins comes and does artwork on this and Francis Manipal does co uh, colors over it and it looks beautiful and then he does a little bit at the end it's perfect um, but great book pick it up I give it five out of five nerd skulls all right guys my review this week is flashpoint number one written by Jeff Johns that guy is incredible he writes such awesome stories this is just the first issue and I'm already sold on the entire series I will read every single tie-in and there are a lot of them but I don't care it he is amazing I cannot wait to see what he does with this Awesome ending, five out of five nerd skulls. Alrighty, this week I am reviewing Moriarty number one. It's an image book and it's reasonably priced at $2.99, especially being that it's super long. Uh, really enjoyed the story though. It sort of chronicles one of the tales of Sir Arthur and Conan Doyle, so like Sherlock Holmes and obviously Professor Moriarty. Really good, the art was sort of uh, grungy, kind of sketchy, and I really liked it. It's really hard to do that style of art and have it not look convoluted. So kudos to them because they did a great job. Story, while being really long, set up a great series. So I would actually suggest adding it to your pull list. I give it like four to five nerd skulls. All right, so that's gonna do it for comic news and reviews and we will catch you next time.